Hi, my name is Ilma and I'd like to welcome you to my channel on YouTube. Uh, I've been posting uh, devotionals, Christian devotionals for nine years now every day. So today I'd like to share 1 Timothy 3 verses 13 to 16. And here's the Word of God. I am writing these things to you, hoping to come to you before long. But in case I am delayed, I write so that you will know how one should act in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and support of the truth. Beyond question, great is the mystery of godliness. He who was revealed in the flesh was vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. 1 Corinthians 3, 13 to 16. And here's my devotional. Church as pillar and support of the truth. In this letter of Paul to Timothy, his purpose is to ensure that there isn't any time wasted in giving of the instruction to the Gentile believers as to how one should act in the household of God. Paul calls the family of believers as a church of the living God, the pillar and support of the truth. What a clear picture he paints in this letter of the body of believers who are the support or the ground that the truth of God's word rests upon. What a big responsibility we have as Christians towards seeking and bringing truth into the world. How can a believer bring the gospel if he has no hunger for the law and the word of God? How can Christians preach the good news if their lives do not manifest a life that comes only from the living word of God? In verse 16, Paul discusses the mystery of godliness. Believers do not have a clue what godliness is until the Lord Jesus Christ became flesh and showed us what it is to be godly. The previous guidelines stated in the earlier verses before this passage was laid down in detail so that there will be no confusion or chaos in the body of Christ. Paul clearly stated how Christians must live their lives blameless and pure, especially those in leadership positions as it may encourage or hinder the spiritual growth of other believers in that church. How many churches are keeping this important role that all the body of believers must safeguard against corruption and the false teachings and doctrines that may have infiltrated assembly of God's people? It is a sad fate to watch many so-called Christians who do not even follow God's order, law, and discipline or submit to authorities that God has given them to follow. When we are mixed up with the world systems, we are compromising the sanctification given to us through the Holy Spirit to live holy and pure lives. Reflection. How can the church fail in being the pillar and support of truth? Well, that's why uh, Paul wants to specify the guidelines as to getting leaderships in the, in the church. When the church becomes um, infiltrated by false teachers or, you know, they call it uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, meaning they, they present themselves as, uh, as uh, ministers or um, servants of God who, who, who are there to, to work for God's kingdom, but actually it's just a ploy so that they can uh, use that for their own hidden agenda. So <clears throat> that's one way that the church will fail to be the pillar and the support of the truth because now everybody is going to be um, deceived and everyone is going to have division and um, confusion and that is not what truth is about. So when the believers, the body of believers um, have no accountability to each other regarding um, addressing sin in, in the body, 
just like in a family because you love your 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 members of your family you will ensure that they're not going to live their lives endangered as to being confused or as to being misled by other false believers or false churches so you fail as a church if there is uh, the qualifications of your leaders do not pass the qualifications that God has laid down um, in in his in his book in his in his word so if there are um, worldly people that have infiltrated the truth then we have a problem because that means that we are not able to be the support of the truth we are not able to be the pillar that um, that other people can look up to so that they know the truth and they will be set free so there will be confusion there will be bondage there will be um, all kinds of sins that are go going to be in the church if um, if the, the leadership fails to follow through with the mandate that is given to them and the qualifications that should be uh, clearly followed otherwise everyone will not want to be submitting to an authority that is not a true authority so thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this vlog. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could continue to serve the Lord. Thanks for watching.